like because I was not able to catch one single pass in the last game. Uh, Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Dallas Cowboys. Brett Maher has this one teed up and we are underway here at AT&T Stadium. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Now this is Hilton on the receiving end. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Prescott yet again. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Prescott to throw on fourth. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they'll get the conversion on a gain of 14. From the red zone now, Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. First and goal. A chance to convert that early turnover into points. Now Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott. Touching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. He had the option to hand that football off. I think it's safe to say that he made the right decision. That was a heck of a run. It certainly was. And when you mentioned the option, most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball. You know, in the NFL, that's usually not the recipe for being around too long. So when you do keep it, it often surprises the heck out of a defense. touchdown here's Marr to kick it away and they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds so really good starting field position up me. past the 40 yard line <coughs> lagging on my end but 
up there for a good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 43. It's Mixon on the counter. And he'll manage to pick up right. about four. It's second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Mixon. And very little yeah, room okay, there. Good. He did get a couple up to the 49. You throw it on the top of the And the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. Careful of Burrow gonna fake to mix it and now look to throw. Right, Open the the receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he's gonna be taken down just shy of the 35. Play one, you know, well, a lot of times tick, when yeah. you get a manageable third down situation like this, yeah. you have to think about your tight end. Nobody's and he on. comes through right. for him. Picking up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And up. he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Play action. It's Burrow. And his throw is incomplete. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football. Try and throw forward with Burrow. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And the Cowboys defense is going to get them the football back. Well, I guess they wanted to get that touchdown right back on their first drive, but failed to do so. And what they have to be careful of is pushing so hard to stay right there, to stay even with their opponent. And it gas themselves out. And he will Come be on, hit from the behind ball. and run over. Wow. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Throwing Prescott. Hey. And that'll be incomplete. Oh, Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that oh, one yeah, in. Couldn't hang on third down. Prescott. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Chita Bay Oluzie with a pick. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. First and ten, Joe Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. here, Joe Burrow. Open man is Higgins. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. 
On third down, Burrow. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they wind up with a gain of 11 there on fourth down. What a time for his first catch as they get the conversion on fourth. They go play action with Burrow. He'll air this one out for Boyd. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Trey Hawkins. <coughs> and the Cowboys are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. 8-0 our score with two minutes left in the second quarter. And again, it's Prescott. He goes right back the way of Hilton. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Complete to Hilton. And this will go as a game of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. From the 30 on second down, Prescott. That would complete to Elliott. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. A first down throw for Prescott. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but did not hang on. They'll throw again. Prescott. He's got it to Hilton. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. First down, Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward <coughs> halftime. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Here's a quick throw by Dak, complete out wide. Touchdown, Cowboys! T.Y. Hilton as the first half is winding down. And the Cowboys will extend their lead here just before...
the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. Jake Elliott ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. gets ready here for this drive, Charles. You, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. Now it's throw out a fact if you don't even release the ball on the field. I just want teams to always weigh risk and reward. To me, too early in this game because the reward just wasn't big enough to go for it there in case they failed. Now the pressure, back on their offense to pick themselves up, and they gave the touchdown that was just given up. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. 
Prescott on third and two. Over the middle, it's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Quick throw here to Hilton. And he's got some space here. And he'll be dropped at the 36. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18. To the air again, Prescott. Release the ball. Too much this time. Down he goes. Well, Fletcher Cox, he's been doing this for a lot of years, and another sack to his ledger there. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, he finds his man complete. That's Schultz. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Third down, it's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Hurts. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Second down at five. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Seven yards there and a first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. down hurts man open left side is brown and they'll work this down inside the 30. to win any route you've got to break down the defender and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route on first and ten it's sanders knifes his way forward here but just three yards on the play second down yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Birds fumbles it. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it, able to retain possession. That was big for them. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. to the football it's blocked well that's always a risk on those longer kicks you have to drive it low to get it there that opened the door for a better chance for the defense to get a hand on it and that's just what we saw there and even if the odds increase a little bit because it's a longer field goal attempt it's still difficult to get hands on the football and create a block big time excitement that's into a crowd and intercepted and the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words every time we hear that. 
things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. To throw once more on second and ten. Hurts. This will be caught by Brown. What the hell? And he's going to be taken do down it. at the 28-yard line. Here comes Sanders on the toss right. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Second down. Here's Hurts. Looking left side, and he's got he's a man. going to stand it's there and down. watch him catch it. And he's going to have another first view. down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 15-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Okay, ready? 18, Randall, 18, Randall. Hurt sets up to throw it. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Van Der Esch. And the Cowboys are going to take over at their own 11 yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. A first down carry by Elliott. And he can only Go manage hole, to get please. a couple. Please just second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Prescott. And this one incomplete. Please just catch the Too ball. contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb, 60 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. It took them a while to get their speedster involved, but they found him downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches, doesn't have to have volume in order to have a huge impact on the game. His speed scares the heck out of defenses, and other guys can capitalize, but when you finally hit him and he carries it all the way into the end zone, that's what you're paying him for. That big threat that can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch. Take it to the house. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. To try again after the sack. Hurts going deep here for Watkins. And that will be you missed it twice, man. Try to dial up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Oh, what a juke into space! A 55-yard punt that time with a return of about 14. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. 
Wow. No, it was not too high. How is he ripped into that? The entire defense is setting the tone in this game. I threw a damn low pass. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Prescott. And you miss it. And you miss it. Nice back to back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So back to back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he takes a shot with the release as this will be incomplete. Pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know. Yeah. Well, the mental focus. Yeah, level. that's got to stay with it. That's true. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. This is taken around the 12. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. Don't let him go over the top. Just don't let him go over the top. Ready? The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Good fade. You don't pick that. And it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Yeah, easy to second guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Well, they certainly knew their challenge as this series began. And they got a stop on play number one. Goal now, get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. On second and ten, Prescott flushed out right. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. To throw is Prescott. And that will be Martin. incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Marr able to put this one through, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. to seven. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis, operating Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. A short kick taken at the 18. this Philly offense set to go. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. 
They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. To throw on second and ten. Hurts. Out route and it's complete to Brown. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. That is cool. It's the tight end Goddard. And he I goes down, but not before getting this inside the because 25. You're supposed to be on 36 here. yards on the play. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Up the middle they go with Sanders. Then he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Hurts to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. 19 Eagles. 60 Eagles. Throwing is Hurts. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, a nine-yard touchdown man. run. And the Eagles have retaken a third-quarter lead. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result, and he opted for the touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same than what they plan to do on offense. That's caught again by Schultz. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Prescott now from the 50. Now into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. Because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half. And the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. Hey, that's a great observation too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders got to add to the lead directly. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 